Hey, what's up, everybody? Well, welcome to the live stream, or if you're new, welcome. If you've been here for a while, well, you know, it's good to see you too. <laughs> Anyways, if you're watching this at a later date, it's probably known as Keith Condensed. Feel free to come out and check on the live stream where I give away half an ounce of silver every Saturday night to the person that has the most K-Coin. Anyways, today what I wanted to talk about was buying stock as if you're buying the entire business and what that actually means because I don't think a lot of people understand when you go to purchase stock, you're actually buying, well, you're buying somewhat of that company. You're buying equity in that company. And the way that you make money off of that company is either in dividend payouts or the equity increases. Basic economics, it, it, it becomes more valuable because either people are buy, willing to pay a higher price for it or not a lot of people are buying and selling it, depend, depending on the kind of industry you are in. However, I wanted to take a, a quick look at two stocks just to kind of give you a glimpse at why I think looking at to, looking into the financial statements is such a, a good idea. Um, this is a company that most of you guys probably know and well. It's called Tesla. Tesla creates some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cars. So I'm not, not going to knock them, but I'm just saying they create some beautiful cars. And we're going to look at another company called First Ban Corp. They are a bank that is out of based out of Puerto Rico. And we're going to take a look at both of these two. All right. And the share price right now for both of them, uh, Tesla is 370 and FBP First Ban Corp is $7.83. $7 okay. By the way, guys, these are for financial purposes only and not meant to be taken as financial advice. So make sure to always do your research and don't take just my word for it. First of all, what I want to look at is, is their operating income. So if you look at Tesla's, and let me go ahead and actually put them both up on the screen. If you look at, at FBP, which is on the right here, uh, you could see that they have an operating income over the last four years of, of positive. That means basically for, for being in business, for operating, for doing what they do best, for people showing up to work, for people coming into their bank, all that kind of stuff, for them giving out loans, they, they make money. They make $159 million, almost $160 million last year from just opening and closing that door, doing what they do well, just, you know, being in business. If you look at Tesla, on the other hand, they lost one billion six hundred million dollars last year and then the year before that they lost 645 million dollars and so on and so forth over the last four years this company tesla has never made a dime by doing what they do best which is supposedly creating cars and selling solar and so i guess you look at it from a, a business perspective and you're like if someone comes to pitch you a a a, a business and they're like hey i've got a business over the last four years we never made money we do got technology but we've never actually made money. Would you honestly, would you invest? Like think about it from the Shark Tank perspective, not not to like, I know that Shark Tank is like a glorified real out of TV show. It's still in essence fake. It's it's reality TV, it, it's fake. But think about it from that perspective because I think that most people can relate to investing in small businesses through Shark Tank. That's all I'm saying. If someone came to them and said, hey, we've gotten this great idea. We sell cars, but we never made a dollar. They would say, Oh, 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 that's, that's not good. If, if this bank company came to him and said, Hey, well, our sales, we do great in sales. We generate this much money. Like we're, we're making money. We're making money every single year. They, they would, the risk that, that is involved in that is not as much. And so I think it's important to look at it from that perspective as a business owner. And then second of all, second thing to take into consideration is the value of the actual stock itself typically you know what when we look at a stock we're like oh my gosh it's dropping like well we better get out it's dropping like we'll wait till it goes up we wait till it goes up or whatever well if you think about it like this if this mouse was was worth five dollars right i could go i could go buy it at walmart for five dollars or i could go to target and buy this this same exact mouse for a buck where would i go buy this mouse at if the value of this mouse was worth five dollars i mean say you took all the, all the pieces and that kind of thing and you could part it out and it was all five dollars or i could walk into target and buy it for a buck i would go to target to buy it for a buck right i mean obviously it, it it's the same it's the same kind of thing in regards to buying businesses and buying stock is that uh, when you're looking at it from a, a value perspective just because a stock is dropping is not necessarily a bad thing that's why i say you gotta gotta kind of find out and do your research on why a stock is dropping but to just solely get rid of it because it's red or whatever is completely 
for me, crazy. So I think that's two things to consider when looking at a stock is first of all, are they making money by opening and closing their door every single day? And if they're not, is this something that they will eventually into the future happen where they will make money? Um, do they have a plan on how they're going to make money? And is this a risk that you're willing to take? Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and leave it right there. All, all I'm saying is that come from, try to come from the perspective of, of buying a business. You're buying that business outright. Uh, it doesn't make sense to buy a business. F well, for me personally, it doesn't make sense to buy a business at this point in time to buy a business that I'm going to have to continue to dump more money into and, and hopes that it will actually make some kind of revenue into the future. Anyways, guys, it's been real. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Peace out.